Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we'll be reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2022. This will be a three card general love reading, so take the message that resonate and leave the rest behind. And as always, if you guys like to see personally what's going on in your life, you can check me out and book a reading on my website, LadyScorpiusTarot.com, as well as check out my beautiful products on there as well. You guys, I'm in the process of making some beautiful Jezebel oil. I also have some Domination oil. I have candles on there for manifesting money, protection, um, self-love. So check out my website, you guys. It's a little sneak peek of my domination oil. I'm sorry, my Jezebel oil that I'm making. So yeah, anyway, get into it. So happy birthday, Libra. This is for my sun, moon, rising, and Libra. I'm, I'm sun, moon, rising, and Libra, Libra. It's for the month of October. All right, let's see what's going on. Universal Spirit, sending guys a message, gods and goddesses, angels. Please give me messages for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for the month of October surrounding love life. What is the energy surrounding my Libra's love life? What energy is flowing in and out of their love life for the month of October 2022? I ask for you to messages I love light and clarity for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus spirit for their love life. What is flowing in their love life for the month of October? What is flowing out? Give me messages of love, light, and clarity for my Libra. Three cards only spirit for the month of October 2022. Whoa. All right. We had three cards that fell out. All right. So I'm going to take the cards that fell out, honey. Now, let me tell you, Libra. I try to record y'all messages in y'all video three times already. But my camera just... It, first up, The first video didn't even upload. And I thought it did. I wrote it out and everything. The title. The second one, my camera died. So I'm coming back for the third time. Third time is the charm. And I'm about to reach on your love life. So the overall energy, Libra, is I miss you. So somebody that you attached to or whatever the case may be, you're probably not even connected to them right now. It could be a past partner, a past lover, somebody that's thinking about you. Somebody's missing you, Libra. Or you could be missing someone very dearly, all right? The overall energy is you could be having nostalgia with the I miss you card. You could be thinking about the past and the good memories that you guys once share together or this could be how they feel about you libra but i do feel like with the overall energy being i miss you someone wants to return back all right or they could be thinking about it so let's get into it the first card we have is making the effort all right the second card we have is ooh, new love okay libra the third card i have is or we have is i'm sorry for letting you down I feel like some of you guys are trapped in between two worlds right now. And you might have somebody that's new in your life that you might be feeling attraction to. Or if you might be feeling them hard. And it's like you wanting them to make the effort. Or they're coming in to make the effort towards you. And if you have somebody from the past that's saying, like, you know, they're stuck in the head about you. And it's like, I miss you. I'm sorry for letting you down. So this person could just be sitting there just having deep thoughts about you, Libra. They could be wanting to return to you, but I also feel like right now you guys could have a new love that's trying to make its way to you. Um, you have somebody that's coming in that's wanting to make the effort. Well, this could be you wanting to, um, to make the effort towards a new love, but let's go, let's go ahead and see what Spirit has to say. We're going to clarify these cards, honey. But it sounds like some love is coming in, and if so, I'm happy for y'all, Libra. All right. <coughs> All right, clarify making an effort for my Libra Sun Moon Rising and Venus for the month of October for their love life. Why is making an effort here for Libra for their love life for October 2022? Clarify making an effort. All right, we had that card that flipped out. All right, we had the Two of Swords, Libra. This is your energy. Feeling unsure, unbalanced, uncertain when it came when it comes to your decision making. We have the page of coins, right? So somebody's making an effort. So some of you guys are unsure if you want to make the effort towards a person. It could be an earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. It could be another air sign. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I do feel like somebody is wanting to make the effort towards you or they could be unsure. I really feel like some of you guys are trying to stay balanced. You're trying to stay firm. You know, you're trying to stay in harmony. You don't you don't want to deal with no stalemate situation. I feel like right now you're wanting somebody possibly to make more of an effort. You feel like things are being maybe like tactless or like, you know, they're not making a, a, deci a decision when it comes to what they want. It's like they have a decision to make. But I feel like the Page of Swords is like it's about some type of offer, right? So somebody's wanting to make the offer towards you or you could be wanting to make the offer towards somebody but someone is unsure on how to do it, I'm seeing, or when they should do it or whatever the case may be. What's the right time? That's what I'm hearing. So if I, um, two of swords for making an effort for Libra for October for their love life. We have the page of cups. Yeah, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Somebody's wanting to come in with some type of love offer, okay? 
Um, could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Doesn't have to be. It could be any sign. But I feel like somebody's wanting to come in to like give you some type of emotional offer or emotional message. All right. It could be a person that's trying to come in to show you how they feel. You know, um, page of cups. This could be talked about children for some of you guys. But I do feel like this person could be like a little bit more emotionally immature. They might wear their heart on their sleeve when they could just be coming in just trying to like throw their love onto you. But it's like they're coming in with a small offer, okay? So I feel like maybe you got somebody right now, Libra, that's trying to make an effort towards you. But it's like you're indecisive on if you want to even, like, entertain this shit. Because you feel like it's like a, it's a small offer. Like this person might got, even got a lot to learn. All right? Clarify um, the page of coins for Libra, Sun, Rising, and Venus for making an effort in love. Why is making an effort here? Clarify the page of coins for Libra for October. Clarify the page of coins. Why is the page of coins here for Libra for October for love? Damn, okay. So, so I didn't want to come out. Yeah. The first card that we got that popped out was the Five of Cups. Yeah. Scorpio Cancer Pisces for some of you guys. We have Leo Sagittarius. We have the Four Coins. Earth Energy. I feel like... Um, you got somebody that's trying to come in and make a small offer, but I feel like they're really flighty with the nine of, the Knights of Wands. They're really flighty. I feel like they're always on a journey. They're always departuring. Like, they're quick. Like, they're in and out when it comes to the connections. Like, you don't really see them making an effort. It's like they can be acting like they want to make an effort or whatever the case may be. Or maybe you're wanting them to make more of an effort. You don't know if you want to invest in, you know, put effort into them because you just feel like this person is always, like, flighty, always abstinence, always, like, you know changing some of you guys can be doing for like a, a person that's younger than you or just a little bit more immature than you um they can have like dark hair it says dark young man but i feel like some of you guys are just dealing with somebody that's, that's always flighty and always on the go it's like they could be very um you know playboy type you know what i'm saying like in and out of the connection a lot could be having possibly other suitors or other people that they're holding on to with the four coins i feel like this person is kind of in and out because they're still holding on to something all right they're still holding on to like Someone from the past or their breadcrumb in a situ this connection and not getting more to it. But it's like they could be holding wanting to hold on to you, but it's like you're not they're not really offering you much. We have the five of cups, so it's some type of regrets when it comes to co this connection. Maybe this this knight of wands is regretting that they're not they can't offer you more. But it's like they're trying to fake like or come in like they have some type of offer to make or they're trying to make some type of effort. But I feel like it's very juvenile. Whatever offer that they're making or whatever they're presenting to you is very childish. All right. I feel like this person is just trying to hold on to you for some of you guys. But they're not offering much to the connection. It's like they're breadcrumbing. This person can be like stingy or just breadcrumbing or just holding on to you, right? <clears throat> Alright, clarify new love. Why is new love here for my Libras for the month of October for their love? Like clarify new love for, for Libras for the month of October still. Alright. Yeah, we had the Knight of Coins. Towards Virgo Capricorn, we have the Three of Swords. You guys can have a new love in that's coming in after some type of heartbreak that you went through, some type of disappointment, some type of strife, um, some type of diversion or opposition or separation that you went through with a person. You could have been unhappy maybe with a night, um, a earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. You could feel like, or it doesn't have to be the sign, but you could feel like, you know, you want a new love because the person that you were trying to connect to or make the effort with, or you want them to make an effort, they're moving really slow. It's like this person is like really, really slow to move. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they can come in with a stable offer, but it's like how long it's going to take for this person to offer this, this stability or to come in with something more, you know what I'm saying? Or with a new love offer at least. I feel like some of you guys are just feeling really disappointed. This person could have had you in a third party situation as well with the three of swords, some type of heartbreaking pain. Clarify, um, give me some more clarify for new love. Why is new love here for the month of October for Libras? Yeah, some of you guys just want a new love. I feel like, yeah, we have the hangman card. And we had an Eight of Cups. And then we had a King of Wands that came up, right? Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody that's married, all right? You could be dealing with somebody that's married. This could be a um, Leo Sanchez Aries. It's like you're wanting a new love in your life. Or this could be a person that's coming in as a new lover. But it's like maybe you could be feeling conflicted. Maybe you feel like you need to walk away with this person because it's not going to, they're not going to put in a real effort like you want. You could feel like this person's like abandoning their connection or you're disappointed with, with the, the effort that they're putting in. You know, I feel like this person could be also like, just feeling like um with the eight of cups you could be feeling like you know it's just something better out there for you okay like you could feel like you emotionally it's like you want to walk away from this negative emotion because you feel like it's just something better there because i feel like with the, the hangman you try to see things from a different perspective when it came to this connection with the hangman you were trying to like reflect and reflect on this connection on this new connection that came in this person is moving really slow it could be some type of heartbreak or disappointment surrounding this connection 
um, like I said, third party energy surrounding this connection. And I feel like, like I said, you're trying to see things from a different perspective. But it's like, I feel like you guys are just wanting to walk away. All right. Let us the, um, okay. Yeah, being the eight of swords. I feel like some of you guys feel trapped mentally, trapped in your head about a decision. You can feel like you you feel imprisoned um, over a connection. A connection can make you feel trapped, stuck mentally. Um, yeah, misfortune can end up can end if opportunities are seized. So some of you guys is like could be some type of misfortune that you went through with this connection, term or conflict. This person could be very dominant as well. All right. Clarify the King of Wands for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October surrounding love life. Why is the King of Wands here for my Libras? Mm, yeah, we have the Temperance card, the Seven of Cups. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Death card, and we have the Ace of Cups. So what I'm seeing is that some of you guys, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, yeah, Temperance card, um, Sagittarius. Some of you guys can be doing for Sagittarius for sure because we have the King of Wands here, Leo or Aries. I feel like this King of Wands is like, he's trying to stay temperance when it's surrounding this connection. He's trying to like stay balanced. He's trying to be patient or maybe you're trying to be patient when it comes to this connection coming together fully, all right? Or you guys hooking up or them making more of an offer, okay? I feel like, um... This person is like either their temperance in themselves because they feel like it could be a successful connection, but it's like they want to take their time because maybe they got other things in the play. Like I said, third party energy is here. We have the Sun of the Cup. Somebody got their head in the clouds, rather, this is you or the person you're connected to. I feel like this person is like living in a fantasy. You could be connected to like a Sag or a fire sign that's living in fantasy. It's like they're trying to come in like they want to make you some new love offer, but it's a fantasy. It's an illusion. You know, this person can have other people, other options, other people to impress. Um, this person could have no substance, but could be like, you know, really impressive on the outside, really probably sexy or handsome or whatever the case may be with the King of Wands, because he's definitely fine. Um, but he could be like, have nothing else to offer, like no substance. Okay. Somebody's like being foolish. I'm rather this is you or the person you're dealing with. We have the five of swords. So this is mental conflict. I feel like you feel like this connection, even dealing with this new situation, even if it's new love and you feel like somebody's acting like they want to make an effort. You're seeing things for what it is and you're feeling like it's foolish to stay in this connection. This person is causing emotional confusion. You could be daydreaming about some shit. They could be having their head in the clouds about this connection. And I feel like with the five of swords, it's going to lead to like maybe some disappointments, adversities, um, Defeatment, you can feel like, like I said, uh, confused, confused, and conflicted. We have the death card, Scorpio energy. Some of you guys might have Scorpio in your chart or could be done for Scorpio, but I feel like you guys are wanting the transformation when it comes to love. That's why we have new love here. You feel like if a person's not making a full effort, you're out. You're going to transform that connection because you know what you deserve. We have the death card here, so some of you guys are needing to clear out the old to make way for the new. Some of you guys, it's like this could be an abrupt change in this connection. I feel like the Ace of Cups, new love is coming in. I feel like once you clear out the old it's gonna be a sudden shock or a sudden change and somebody's gonna come in new offering you some type of love or some type of great abundance that's gonna come in or this can just be self um fulfillment all right some of you guys this could be self-fulfillment some of you guys are, <laughs> i don't see the empress here but this could be a pregnancy for some of you guys small group of you guys um you can find out that you're pregnant all right after finding out this person is married or they have you in a third party situation, it could have came with just great fortune or like a, a child, you know what I'm saying? Something that you got out of this. This could be the new love, you know? But I do feel like for some of you guys, this could be like a new relationship coming after you cut out the old, you know, any bad investments that you were dealing with, you're cutting it out. Some of you guys could have been dealing with somebody that had an illness um, or could have lost financial security. I'm um, just feeling like the death card, yeah, this is like out with the old and with the new, okay? All right, let's see. I'm going to clarify the death card. What's the death card here for for Libra? What are they clearing out? Like, why is the death card here for Libra? Some of you guys are leaning to their love life. Oh, we had a sun card in the King of Cups. Some of you guys might be ending some shit. Clearing out the...